I'm in my garden doing one of the early spring activities I really love to do, and that's getting my bird baths ready for the birds. I love having bird baths in my yard. Bird baths are one of the easiest ways to make your yard more appealing, both to humans and to the birds. First thing I've done is put a little bit of bleach into this bird bath. This is a well-worn bird bath, and it has been out all winter long. I am scrubbing it to get all of the debris and any bacteria that might be on it away so that it will be safe for the birds. One of the things I'm going to be sure to do is to rinse this very, very well so that none of the bleach residue will be left in the bird bath. The concrete bird baths you see in garden shops may look pretty, but they may not be the best type for the birds or for you because they can be too deep for the birds and too hard for you to clean. If you live in a cold climate like I do, they may crack when the temperature drops below freezing. Glazed bird baths can be colorful, but too slippery for the birds. The best bird baths are like the puddles and shallow ponds nature provides. You should consider the safety of the birds when you're choosing the location for your bird baths. And you can see in this case, I propped this bird bath on a large rock. I needed another rock to level it. And inside the bird bath, I have some stones piled up so that smaller birds will have a place to roost. This spot in my garden is the perfect retreat for the birds who love to come and perch and bathe. It's perfect because it's surrounded by shrubbery where they can hide until the coast is clear. Choose a spot that makes the birds feel safe and secure. That means you should choose a spot near shrubs, trees, or other protection. A sheltered, shady spot will keep the bird bath from drying out too quickly and will help you keep the algae down and the bird bath cleaner longer. The fun in having one or more bird baths is watching the birds visit them. So most important is choosing the best spots for you to see them. I find the best times of day for bird bath viewing are either early morning or late afternoon. Once you decide where you're going to put your bird baths, you do have some daily responsibility in making sure that your bird bath stays clean. As you can see, this bird bath really needs a good cleaning. But this is only one day's worth of messiness. I did clean this bird bath just yesterday, but we had a huge rainstorm and it left a mess in this bird bath, as well as this is a popular location. The birds really love it. Daily cleaning is not a chore. I just bring my hose and hose out all the muck, give it a good spray, and then fill it with clean water. I try not to leave it too deep. I want to be sure that the birds can actually get in there as we know that birds don't like to have a bird bath that is too deep for them. About twice a month, I need to give my bird baths a deep cleaning like I did at the beginning of the year. I use a little bit of bleach, a stiff brush, and I scrub away to eliminate <clears throat> all the muck and all the algae, make sure that the bird baths are clean and that any birds that are going to use those bird baths are healthy. I'll also inspect the bird baths to see if there's anything that needs to be fixed on them and I'll take care of maintaining the bird baths at that time. So with just a little bit of maintenance, you can increase the enjoyment you can get from your yard, from the wildlife that visit your yard, and enjoy daily viewing of birds in your bird bath.